So hello everyone watching, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've said that. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. But we are back with another video, okay? Um, I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but I'm back. You know, I had to take a little break for a couple of reasons. <laughs> but we are back with another video so as you guys can tell by the title of the video we are going to be trying some cruelty free makeup products okay so i want to thank you to yes styles for collaborating with me on this video yes styles is a site where you can find clothing items makeup hair products and even skincare on their website they have a bunch of different styles and trendy products from earth tone products to spring products y2k vibes they have a whole bunch of different vibes and aesthetics to cater to you guys and also they do have a program where you can become a yes style influencer like me um and be able to collaborate with them also and make great content for them and for your viewers so if you want to participate in that or if you want any more information about that i will definitely leave that in the description box below also all products that I've used today in today's video from Yes Styles will be left in the description box below. My products that I'm using, y'all gotta worry about that because y'all know what products I use. I might leave them in the description box below just for y'all though. Just for y'all. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Get my eyebrows. Now we're gonna move on to face. Um, we're gonna move on to eyes. Have some concealer right here that I'm just blending on my eyelids. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to do some eyeshadow today. It's not going to be anything like super crazy. I just wanted to do something really cute and quick. So I'm going to start from my outer corner and I'm just going to like kind of flick this product outwards. Like so. Because I want kind of like a cat eye. That's what I'm going for. Sorry if y'all can hear the lawnmower. Um, people decided they wanted to mow the lawn the day I want to film. So I'm going to blend that out just so that it's not looking super harsh. Like this side is a little tiny bit. Blend that out. Because we don't want it to look harsh at all. Okay. I'm going to take this brush right here. And I'm going to take that same color, but I'm going to add it to, like, my lower part of my eye. And I'm going to kind of create a line. Like that. And I'm going to bring it up a tiny bit. Bring it up and out a tiny bit, like that much. And we're going to blend that up. Again, sorry if y'all can hear people mowing the line are just busy today like I don't know what's going on I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna blend that out now I'm gonna show you guys the first product that I'm gonna be trying which is this product right here um, this is by Caradium and it is the shining pearl shadow stick so this is what it looks like, um, and I'm going to show you guys a little swatch of it. Really pretty, like, champagne-y, goldish, penny color. I like it. I think it's really pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just apply the stick to my eyelid like that and then I'm going to blend it out. It's kind of hard to do with my nails. I'm going to blend it out and kind of feather it out to make it kind of look like, kind of like sea dust, like it's just floating on my eye. Hmm, that's pretty. I like this. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then there's the other side. There's another side that you're supposed to use to blend it out. Oh my gosh. This product is nice because most of the time, most of the time when you're blending something out, you're using like your freaking finger or a brush, but they have one built into the product. 
I think that was so smart, so convenient, because as y'all can see, I was just using my finger. Okay. And it's like the perfect sheen. It spreads out very nicely. Oh, I really like that. That is really nice. So our eye makeup is almost done. Um, I'm just going to do one last thing, which is I'm going to take some concealer, just a little bit, and I'm going to carve out the outer part of my eye because I want kind of like a sharp cat eye look. So I'm just going to take the concealer. Just kind of bring that color back right about here. Yes, that's cute. That is so cute. So that's exactly what I wanted. So now we're gonna move on into complexion. I actually have two complexion products. The first product is the Blemish Cover Cushion by C O X R X. I mean C O S R X, and then it says. Blemish Cover Cushion performs its duty of covering skin while smoothing them down with effective ingredients. Effective. With effective ingredients. Oh my gosh, I can't read. <laughs> and this is in the shade um, 27 Deep Beige. Now, I don't know if this shade is dark enough for me. Because I opened the products when I first got them and I was like, mm. So, this comes with a mirror. I don't know if you guys can see, but this comes with a mirror. And it also comes with this really nice cushion. I've never seen this before. Like, anything like this. Well, similar, but I don't know why this little pouch cushion thing just feels so soft. It probably is going to feel so, yes, it feels so nice on the skin. Oh my gosh. But the shade, I don't know if the shade is for me. I guess I can take like a brush and just kind of pounce it and just kind of put some on my face to see where it's at. Yeah, this is way too light for me. I don't know if y'all can see that, but this is way too light. Oh my gosh, I definitely should have got like a like three shades darker because this is way too light and it looks like it covers up though like i don't know if y'all can see but it's literally covering up my dark marks what's so small on there yeah it's really covering up my dark marks but it's just too light for me so this product was definitely something that had great potential but i would definitely say just make sure you get the right shade um and even if the shade looks deep enough you might want to get like two shades darker than that because i thought the shade was definitely going to be deep enough but it's not but overall i love the packaging i love just the sleekness and the aesthetic of the packaging um i love the cushion on the inside i like the way it opens i love how it has this little flap right here so that you can open it easily and then it doesn't bleed on into the rest of your products and it has like a little space for the cushion to go like this product is it and also i like the mirror on the inside there's plastic on there so i haven't took the plastic off but i'm pretty sure the mirror is great so i don't know maybe i can use this for like a mirror inside of my um inside of my purse but as far as using the actual product I won't be able to so the next thing that we have is the CICA or Kaya Kia Kaya clearing BB cream um, and this is in the shade 27 sand beige so clearly I just like the number 27 because both of these are in the shade 27 yeah both of these are in the shade 27 I don't know I don't know. Um, so first off, I can see from the packaging that this packaging is probably recyclable. Yeah, this is biodegradable packaging. Um, so this is pretty cool. I like that. I really do like that. It's giving, um, you know, save the earth. <laughs> 
So this is what it looks like on the inside. This is supposed to give you a healthy looking glow, um, flawless coverage, UVA, UVB protection, and EO and fragrance free. Fragrance free is very important because you know sometimes fragrances can break you out and give you blemishes on your skin. So yeah, and I'm definitely, if I can use this product, I would probably use it for like an everyday look. So I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. This is looking a little light too. Okay. okay, it's looking a little bit darker. Let's 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 test her out. Let's not give up yet. I can't lie, it's a little bit better than the last product as far as cover I mean not coverage, as far as the color. But I don't think I can use it because it's giving off a white cast. I don't know if you guys can see, like, compared to the other side of my face. But it's looking really light. And I cannot do that to myself. I'm sorry, guys. I can't do that to myself. So, sadly, it looks like it's going to be a no for this product. So, what I'm going to do is just very quickly cover my um, face in some Fenty Beauty. You guys know this is my product I love it um, and I'm gonna use a little bit of it because I want to kind of go for like a simple face look today nothing like too crazy and I'm gonna conceal and everything because we don't have any more face products for me to use so I'm just going to do my face very quickly and get that one out of the way for you guys Okay, so even though I've already put my blush on, I'm going to be trying this Hello Kitty Catty Doll, Kathy, yeah, Kathy Doll blush, and this is a cotton matte blush. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this, you guys. This is so cute. If you love Hello this is so cute so if you love Hello Kitty this is definitely the makeup product for you and it has this really pretty little Hello Kitty um, 
pouch, I mean, cushion thing. Like, this is so freaking soft. So I scratched it a little bit with my tweezers, but this is what it looks like on the inside. And then it has a little mirror. And this is where the cushion goes. This is so cute. So it is in the shade um, Choco Apricot. Apricot, Apricot, however you say that. So we're gonna see how pigmented this is. And I already applied my Luminoso blush, and that's like pretty light. So this is not gonna do anything but like maybe darken my blush up a little bit. Mm, yeah. It doesn't have a smell. I don't know why I said mm, but it doesn't have a smell, which I kind of like. I don't know why. Okay, so it's like a darker color. It's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see, but it really added like a nice blushy touch to my face. I like it. It's really pretty. Okay, I really like this. Like, I really do. I don't know if you guys can see, but that, um... I don't know if you guys can see, but that shadow stick is making my lids look like glossy. Like, they're looking like shiny and glossy. So, if you are someone that enjoys glossy lids, I would definitely buy that product. Because it's giving off that vibe. And you know, glossy lids, sometimes they can be so sticky. So, if you want that look without having to deal with like the stickiness, I would definitely try that product out. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is apply my lashes, but I'm going to do that off camera just because I don't even know where my lashes are from. I literally got them from like a kiosk that was sitting outside of um, the mall. Not outside, but like in the mall. So I don't even know where I got my lashes from, so I wouldn't even be able to tell y'all. So I'm not even going to put y'all through that type of pain. But I'm going to go ahead, do my lashes off camera, and then come back to you guys when I'm ready to finish off my lips we have went ahead and finished our eyes i did some nice pretty fluttery like cat eye lashes but they're really short i don't know if you guys can see when i turn to the side but they're pretty short which is exactly what i need um for this look so now we're gonna move into the lips um i have to go get my lip liner um, I really don't know where it is. Okay, so I don't know where my lip liner is, so I guess we're gonna move straight into the lip products. So I have two lip products here. One of the products is the Hemish, H-E-I-M-I-S-H. Um, this is a velvet lip tint. And the packaging, y'all, so freaking cute. This is so cute. Like, I love that nude, um, color on top of that really nice pink color that's so cute and then we open it this is what it looks like uh, let me just do a little quick swatch for you guys that is the product yeah this is really cute so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to apply I'll apply it to my lips and I'll kind of move it around um, and just give my lips a tint. So, first things first, I don't know if this is supposed to be, well it says it's a lip tint, so it's definitely tinting my lips, giving it a nice rosy color. I don't know if this color is for me. Comment down below if y'all like this color on me. Because I feel like it's giving, mm, like, your, um, I feel like it's giving, like, doll makeup. Like, clown doll makeup. I don't know. I don't really like that. But I think the color is pretty, um, it definitely tinted my lips. But I just don't know if I like the color. So, yeah, that's that on that. And then we have here non sticky day tint. Um, and this is in the shade N3 Glow Day. So this is like a lip gloss. Um, if I can get it out, and it's in clear packaging. Oh my gosh, I can't get it out. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. 
and I'm going to open it for you guys. Ooh, I like this. So, I don't know if y'all can tell, but this is like a lipstick. I don't know what to call this. I don't know if it's an eyelash kind of applicator, but I'll swatch it for you guys. So, yeah, it's definitely not sticky. So, we're just going to put some of this on. Okay. Um, so, I can't lie. Putting this on definitely gave me, like, um, a different feel than I've felt before. It kind of felt like super wet, almost like I'm putting water on my lips. Um, so it's definitely not sticky at all. It's very glidable, like soft and glidable. But again, y'all know me. I would probably never wear this color. <laughs> like, this is definitely something that I probably would never wear as far as the color goes. But the actual like consistency in the actual product, I would use this, but I would just get like a color that's very lighter. Like if the color was just like the bottle, I would wear this. But mm, mm, I'm going to go back to my nudes because I just feel like they look better on me. Like I don't know. Maybe I should step outside of my comfort zone one of these days. But as far as right now, mm, no. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've made a mess, um, I'm going to go ahead and put on this dress that I actually got from Yes Styles. Um, I ended up getting a dress to go along with my makeup because I wanted to try out their clothes and just see what they're hitting for. So, I'm going to go ahead and put on that dress and show you guys the overall finished look. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys my outfits. This is the dress that I got from Yes Styles. Um, and right here here we have this really nice white it's like an off whitish dress that I got from US Styles because I wanted to try out their clothes just to see you know what they was hitting for and let's just say they did that they did that Ooh, my fault <laughs> they did that like this dress is so cute it's literally like hugging my body in all the right places I got it I Thick in the smallest size so I'm definitely glad I got it in the smallest size it has these like buttons let me show you guys these buttons right here are like iridescent I don't know if you guys can see they're like an iridescent pearly look um, the only thing is there's a lot of strings on here so before I actually wear this out I'm gonna have to cut these strings but other than that the dress is so cute it's good quality um, it's kind of like a red material, but the material is not like cottony. It's more of like a spandexy material. It's very stretchy. I love the sleeves, and I love the sleeves because sometimes I don't like to really like show my like shoulder area because it's like stronger on me, and I don't really like it 100%. But other than that, girl, this outfit is bomb. I got this purse from Forever 21. It's like that material, like, uh, I don't know what this material is called. But this is what the purse looks like. And then it has a silver chain. That's why I'm wearing my bracelet and watch from Fossil because my watch has silver in it. And then I'm wearing this ring that I got um, from Valentine's Day from my mom. And then I'm wearing these shoes that I got from Shein. Y'all, these shoes are so freaking cute. They are um, like a Bottega dupe, the like Bottega Veneta heels. I wanted to put on some perfume. So the perfume of my choice today is this Jimmy Choo perfume. I actually found this, you guys, from Burlington for about like $24-ish, $25. And you guys know, for perfume that is luxury, that is definitely a steal. This is also by Jimmy Choo, so I know their perfume is on the expensive side. Um, so yeah, this is the Jimmy Choo Floral. It smells so good. It's like the sweetest, but also a little bit of floral scent ever. It smells divine. It smells so good. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I am going to be bringing some new things to my channel. 
that I will definitely let you guys know later. Let me know if you guys want a little update on my life because I definitely will do that for you guys because some things have changed and I do want to talk to you guys about that. Get to know you guys a little bit more and just talk to you guys. Let you guys in on my life. So if you want that, definitely comment that down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you are new, if you are already subscribed. Thank you so much. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video and it will be coming soon. I'm not going to leave you guys thinking anymore. No more breaks. It's go time. We're here and we're staying. So, yeah. See you guys in my next video.